Hey, what's up, y'all? Shiro Fujioka back again. This time, we're going to be going behind the scenes and doing a little sound design session. I'm um, just going to be exploring some sounds and wavetables with this Piston Honda Oscillator. I just kind of wanted to take you guys behind the scenes so you could see the patience that it takes to just discover and design these sounds on the modular synth. So check it out. So we're going to start by taking our triangle waveform from our LFO, and we're going to animate the wavetable of the Piston Honda. We're going to take our second LFO and we're going to modulate the second set of wavetables on the Piston Honda. Get that sound moving. So now I'm going to unplug this from the mixer and I'm going to put our sound source into the low pass gate. Then low pass gate out to the mixer so now you can hear it. And what we're going to do next is we're going to get an envelope from the maths. So I'm going to take the trigger out into the trigger end of the maths, maths out into the low pass gate, and now we can open that low pass gate with our sequencer. Now I'm going to experiment with the envelope, just kind of opening it and deciding on which shape I want, how much sound I want to let out, or how little sound I want to let out. So I'll just keep experimenting until I come up with something I'm pleased with. So now I'm going to take the one volt per octave out of the mutant brain and put that into the one volt per octave end of the piston Honda so we can play this oscillator chromatically with the sequencer. So next what we're going to do is lay down some triggers that way we can trigger some notes in the modular. So I'm just going to put down 16 triggers, basic 16 note sequence. So what I'm going to do now is select one of the steps and then I'll change the pitch of the step so we can start building a melody. So I'll just kind of skip through this, I'll speed through this and I'll just kind of dial in some melodies and then we'll, we'll go from there. Okay, so now that we have our melodies dialed in, what I'm going to do now is, is delete some steps just so we can kind of start making a different rhythm. I think I'm going to knock out another step. So we're going to move on to the Zadar. We're going to be using two channels of, of modulation. I'm going to use the output of LFO1 to modulate the wave shape of LFO2. And then we're going to apply that to some effects and other stuff. All right, check it. All right, so now I'm going to unplug this low pass gate. And now I'm going to put it into the Pico effects. And we're going to add some effects to the sequence. So basically what I'm doing now is taking the output of the Pico effects and putting it in the mixer so we can hear it through the speakers. So let's turn it up. So there's no effect right now, it's dry, so we're gonna start adding a little more wetness so you can start hearing the effect. Now we'll dial in one of the parameters. I believe this is the, the time of the delay. So now we're going to take that LFO that we set up earlier and we're going to put that into the CVN which is going to modulate the time of the delay. Alright y'all, thanks for joining me. That's pretty much it. So now I'm just going to experiment. Alright, peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love.